This video is only meant to be a guide. Please always follow the instructions provided by your chain and vehicle manufacturer. And if you don't feel comfortable, please hire a professional. Hi, my name is Eric from A Plus Japanese Auto Repair. Today we're going to show you how to install cable chains on your vehicle in case you're driving up and you encounter snow on the road. So let's go ahead and take a look down here. We've got the cable chains. Um, one thing you'll notice, the reason they call it cable chains, of course, is the cable on the outside and coming across here. The old style chains are actually um, more what you would consider like a chain link type of look. So cable chains, um, they're on a lot of the newer cars and a lot of front wheel drive cars. So the first step, you wanna find out if your car is front wheel drive or if it's rear wheel drive. So if it's front wheel drive, that's where you're gonna to wanna to put your cable chains because that those are the, the wheels that drive the car forward. If it's rear wheel drive, you're gonna to wanna to put the chains on the rear of the car. And if it's four wheel drive, I would recommend you put the chains on the front of the car because that's where you're gonna do most of the steering and you don't wanna get any slippage if you can help it. Okay, so we're back and we're ready to uh, take the next step in putting on the chains. So as you notice, we have both of the chains laying in front of the car. The car's on a flat surface. And what I'm gonna do next, if I had um, a passenger in the car, I'd have them slowly drive the car forward for me until the tire ends up about halfway uh, between the ends of the chain. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for us right now. Notice here that the cable chains are facing down, so the locking tabs are also facing down. They're also located ahead of the car. That way we don't run them over when we drive forward. Okay, so this is where the uh, connections come in. The first step is we're gonna um, basically take each end of this cable chain bring it up around the tire like so. So some cars can be really tight inside. And so what you want to do is you'll want to connect the inside of the tire first, which I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to show you how to connect the outside so you can actually see it. In my right hand is the male side of the cable and the left hand is the female side of the cable. So you'll slide the male side in and into the locking female side and uh, you want to count how many um, sections of the male side goes in. So if it's four, you want to match that on the, on the uh, outside of the tire as well. You also want to make sure that that female locking tab, okay, um, the smooth side, is facing the so what we rubber did is we of the connected tire. The inside of the so cable you can see chain. right here, now I'm just the smooth side is facing the rubber, the outside. Um, not the sharp side, otherwise you will damage the tire. Here. All the way until you can't really go any further. So, let's see if we can get one more out of that, perfect. So we got the cable chains, they're on there, you know, good and tight, they're kind of snug. You can see this cable here sits in the middle of the tire, going around. And now the last step is this excess You'll want to clip it in so it's not uh, doing any harm or doesn't get caught on anything as you drive the vehicle. I want to make sure you also clip the inside um, Again, of the, the last, excess cable uh, as well. And, and fairly critical point here is that this clasp, you want it facing away from your tire. As you can see here, if, it, if you have it mounted the other way where this is facing towards the tire, you'll want to stop and do this over again. Um, Otherwise, it could cause damage to your tire. Okay, so that's one side. It took us just about a minute. Um, we've got the other side set up, but uh, you would just basically do the other side the same way. Now, if you have any issue or trouble reaching into the wheel well, one uh, trick is to start the car. And uh, make sure it's in park, make sure the parking brake is on. And you can turn it, which will, will give you a little bit better access to uh, engage the inside of the cable chain. Okay, so our last step here. This piece of rubber acts like a rubber band. 
um, what we're going to do is just connect this outside rubber here so that it keeps tension on your cable chain. So what I'm doing is spacing out these clips here uh, fairly equally. And then what you want to do is, again, if you notice this clip, the soft edge is going to be towards the tire so I don't cause any damage. So we'll go ahead and clip one here. Go ahead and clip one here. <clears throat> Come across. We'll clip one there. And then we'll clip one at the bottom. So in essence, we're holding that cable chain nice and tight, and that's how you do it.